Euler's theorem and its proof. Today our topic is about converse. Converse of Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. This is very important. Pythagoras theorem and converse of the Pythagoras theorem. These are these are the two things which are very important. Okay. So, first of all, we will recall what is Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem is nothing but in a rectangle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of other two sides. Okay. Now, what is the converse of the Pythagoras theorem? If square of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of another two sides, then the angle opposite to the first side is a right angle. The same thing, the same theorem telling in another way. So that is what we call it as Pythagoras theorem. Okay. See, for example, if you take a triangle, we don't know that this is a right angle triangle or not, but here a condition applied in such a way that here if AC, AC square square of AC is equal to AB square plus BC square the square of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of other two sides then the angle opposite to the first side what is the first side AC which is the angle opposite to AC angle B is a rectangle so that is what we call it as converse of the Pythagoras theorem. Okay. You are going to you have to prove this. Okay. How to prove the converse of the Pythagoras theorem? First of all, you need to you need to take a triangle. <coughs> you need to take a triangle triangle. We have to prove that this triangle is a right angle triangle. Okay. Here what is given given A B, C. Here given that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Here AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Then <coughs> angle B. Okay. Angle opposite to AC square. That is AC. Angle opposite to AC. Angle B is a 90 degrees. This is RTP. What do you mean by RTP? Required to prove. Required to prove that angle B is a right angle. That means we have to prove that angle B is a right angle. Okay. Further, you need to do a construction. Okay. Construction. What is the construction? We need to draw another right angle triangle. So this is a right angle triangle P, Q, Ah. So we already know that this we don't know that it is a right angle triangle. But, but this is already right angle triangle. Okay. We need to draw a right angle triangle in such a way that AB is equal to PQ. AB is equal to PQ. And BC. BC is equal to QR. Here AB is equal to PQ. That means you have to construct a right angle triangle in such a way that AB is equal to PQ and BC is equal to QR. Okay. So now here we already know that this is a right angle triangle. So apply Pythagoras theorem for this right angle triangle. Okay. What is the Pythagoras theorem for this right angle triangle? Square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. So here, what is the hypotenuse? Already we know that angle Q is a right angle, right angle. And PR is hypotenuse. So PR square. Okay, we are doing the proof. PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square. PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square. But uh, PQ is equal to AB. 
QR is equal to BC. So, replace this PR square is equal to BQ is equal to AB. So, in place of PQ, I am writing A. AB square plus QR is equal to BC. So, in place of QR, I am writing BC. So, BC square. Okay. So, take this as the first equation and take this as the second equation. So, PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square. But PQ is equal to AB. So again I am writing PR square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Okay. But already we know that. Already it is given that AC square. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Here already given that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. That means two different things are equal to the same. Then those two things are equal to one another. That means here, PR square is equal to AB square plus BC square. And AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So here, PR square is equal to AC square. That gives PR is equal to AC. So automatically, PR becomes equal to AC. Now, apply congruency property. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR by which by, by which congruency here AB is equal to PQ AB is equal to PQ according to construction according to construction AB is equal to PQ and BC BC is equal to QR this is all to according to construction. Okay. Side, side. And uh, AB. AB is equal to PR. This proved. This is proved. According to these two, according to this here, we proved that PR is equal to AC. So here, according to which congruency? SSS congruency. Side, side, side. S, 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 congruency. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. Okay? If these two triangles are congruent according to SSS congruency, the remaining corresponding measurements must and should be equal. What are the remaining corresponding measurements? Angle A. Angle A is equal to angle P. Angle A is equal to angle B. And here angle B, angle C, angle C is equal to angle R. Angle R. And what is the next, next one? Angle B. Angle B is equal to angle Q. Angle B is equal to angle Q. The corresponding measurements angle A is equal to angle B. Angle C is equal to angle R. And angle B is equal to angle Q. But angle Q, already we know that it is a right angle. So, right angle is equal to angle B. So, angle B is equal to 90 degrees. Angle A is equal to angle B. Angle C is equal to angle R. Angle B is equal to angle Q. So, these two are, the corresponding angles are equal. So, already we know that angle Q is equal to 90 degrees. So, angle B is also 90 degrees. Hence, proved that angle B is equal to 90 degrees. That is also, that is what we call as required to prove. Okay. So, already proved the converse of the Pythagoras theorem. Okay. So, this is what the proof of the converse of the Pythagoras theorem. Once again, what is the converse of the Pythagoras theorem? If square of one side is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides, then the angle opposite to the first side, angle opposite to the first side is a right angle. So that is what we call it as Pythagoras of the Pythagoras theorem. Okay. Hope you understood this. Okay. Okay. Very much. Thank you very much for watching this video. Okay. Keep subscribing to Premium Tutorials for better, for, for better results. Thank you very much.